Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here coming at you with another interesting video today. Now guys, in this video I am going to talk about a special and disgusting individual. An individual who has no empathy whatsoever for her fellow citizens that are less fortunate than her. This Christian is another prime example of how a lot of Christians in this country care more about their religion and this alleged God of theirs than situations involving poverty. She is not attempting anything to solve these issues. She is just throwing this sky phantom into the mix so she can have the opportunity to indoctrinate people with this religious propaganda that she is trying to sell. So let's get into this story that I have for you guys today. Now, at an April 3rd mayoral candidate forum, Mayor Ivy Taylor shared her surprising views on systemic poverty in San Antonio, Texas. To her, the broken people facing poverty just have a bad relationship with God. Now, weeks after the forum, a video of her answer has gone viral. The video shows Taylor and fellow candidate Councilman Ron Nuremberg answering a question from Megan Legacy, the director of SA Christian Resource Center. She asks, what do you see as the deepest systemic causes of generational poverty in San Antonio? I'll go ahead and put it out there, Taylor responds. To me, it's broken people. People not being in a relationship with their creator and therefore not being in a good relationship with their families and their communities and not being productive members of society. I think that's the ultimate answer. So her solution for this whole poverty situation is that these people who do live in poverty need to accept this alleged God into their heart and then they will be lifted out of it. That is right, guys. This alleged God will simply give them a lot of money, food, and medical. Only if they accept that it was their fault for not believing in him in the first place. Now, do you guys see how this crooked garbage is actually working here? Here's another concern of mine. What about the people living in poverty who believe in this alleged God? I guess that their faith in this imaginary being isn't good enough. They're not good enough for this alleged God either. That is what this morally bankrupt Christian is putting out there. This is the idea that she is promoting, and Christians wonder why I cannot take their nonsense seriously. Oh, there's more, guys. Let's get into it. In San Antonio, a city where nearly 15% of the population lives below the poverty line, this strategy may not go over too well, especially since many of those living in poverty are are in fact religious. She made no mention of how the city's job creation rate, minimum wage, or social service programs could play a role in the city's ongoing poverty issues. While of course she won't mention any of those things because it's all about this alleged God for her. Reality in its entirety is ignored here, guys. And to me, that is very unfortunate. Why? Because innocent people who live in poverty have to pay because of this religious garbage. No plans in place, just religious garbage that she thinks is going to fix everything. This comes from a mayor who's already on thin ice for using her religious beliefs to discriminate against the city's LGBT community. In 2013, when Taylor was still a councilwoman, she voted against a non-discrimination ordinance that would protect the LGBT San Antonians from being discriminated against by public and private business owners. Her reasoning? People shouldn't be forced to treat everyone equally if it goes against their faith or moral values. It's the same excuse far-right conservative state lawmakers have used in writing bills to keep transgender kids out of public bathrooms. This time around, the Democratic incumbent running for mayor has used her faith to chastise the city's poorest citizens weeks before election day. In a statement sent to The Current, Taylor said that the video had been intentionally edited to mislead viewers. However, it's hard to see how now Castay's live stream video of the event could have been manipulated. The full video shows no obvious signs of editing. 
I have devoted my life to breaking the chains of generational poverty, she writes. I've done so because of my faith in God and my belief in Jesus' ministry on earth. Now, it seems to me that this Christian woman isn't going to learn anything until she is basically relieved of her duties. Look at what she did with the LGBT community in the past. Look at what she's doing now to the people who are living in poverty. The thing that amuses me with all of this is the fact that she wants people to think that somehow she is the good person here. She wants people to think that she is going to solve all of their problems. To be honest here, she is only going to make things worse. Her and this morally bankrupt religion and what it has to offer. The video was tampered with my ass. <laughs> that is a common reaction among Christians who have been caught. They do that all of the time. It is one of the biggest examples of dishonesty I have ever seen, guys. What even saddens me more is the fact that some Christians will come to the comment section of this video and they will try to justify her behavior as something that needs to be admired. That is the morality of a morally bankrupt religion for you.